Last night, Spanish DJ Christian Varela played a phenomenal set for Carl Cox at The Revolution Continues. And now, we're going to go and have a chat to him on the beach. Oh, yes, oh, yes, face. Christian, how are you? Nice. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. Yeah. And listen, this week has been it's been really great for you. Tuesday night, phenomenal set uh, with Kyle Cox at the Revolution Continues across the road there at Space. Yeah. Yesterday, Sonica Radio. Non-stop. <laughs> and today, well, relaxing down here listening to your mate. <laughs> exactly. Listening really nice, funky. It was a pleasure for me to listen Jackson 5 now yeah, yeah. In five minutes ago, so it's really nice. Such a, such a change from the music that, that he plays at, at Space on a Tuesday night. Yeah, completely <laughs> different. But it's nice, it's very original to do things the people don't expect. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful, fantastic. He's, he's always said it's like something he gives back to the, to the island, mm -hmm. back to the people of the island. He likes to see yeah. them all dancing on the sand. Yeah, I think the people uh, in Ibiza also like to enjoy the morning and the sun, the beach, and yeah, I think this these kind of things are really interesting. What are, when did you first come to Ibiza, or when did you first play? It was with Cal because uh, we had a really nice uh, friend together. Is Tony Palmer, a fantastic promoter, long time ago, and um, he he know my music, my records at Primate and labels, my sets and everything. And he spoke to Carl about me and say, hey, why you don't take Christian to, to Ibiza? He never played there. And I'm sure at space will be a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he listened to me and he called me and say, hey, come to space and let's try what's happened. So when was that? Uh, eight years ago, nine eight years, years ago, ago, long time ago. And after this first time, it was like, bam, very good feeling, yeah. atmosphere. We did the back-to-back -back together, the closing, and after this, we are doing every year, and for me, it's a pleasure and an honor. It's a very energetic thing. Speaking of energetic, watching you play, you're, you're classical musically trained, mm -hmm. aren't yeah. you, on the piano, I mean, and knowing that and watching you play from behind, it's like watching a composer play you know you've got your the way <laughs> I that try. you try no but it's really phenomenal i'm sure maybe it just comes naturally but the way you are with the crowd but then you have the way your your your, your console is mm -hmm. set up maybe you can tell me a little bit about what you need when you play what you have behind because you had turntables and computers and of course the cdjs you know how do they all work together um i need the um more than two or three tracks because for me exactly when i'm playing i want to do something more something like a dj live but with turntables and cds not a real life because for a real life you you must to play keyboards or battery or i don't know live yeah. but for me as a dj i like to use some elements and do the set really dynamic mm -hmm. and never boring it's I think it's uh, every time I try, no bore the people and do random up and down the music, the feelings, and of course to play it too much uh, with the emotions of the people. I want to create atmospheres, different atmospheres in my sets, like tension of atmosphere, after that relaxed atmosphere, after that power atmosphere, and yeah. it's uh, them on a journey. It's that I try. I, I try. Yeah, yeah, I think you achieved that. <laughs> <laughs> but when did you change from classical music, dare I say, to to, to the love of techno? <laughs> it was you my <laughs> my brother's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's always someone else's fault. <laughs> because uh, yeah, it's older than me, and now is my manager for the bookings in Spain. Huh? For international, it's Ian. It's same manager as Carl and Lynn. And uh, yeah, he bring me every time cassettes and electronic music like uh, Jean-Michel Jarre or Front 242 or 
Vangelis, mm. a lot of different things. And I was every time listening and studying classical, when I listened to that, I was like, what is this? Really? And yeah, with 13 or 14 years old, and I was really in interested in, in the electronic music. And I began to buy vinyls, but also funky vinyls or house vinyls, everything I like. Now I have a big collection, and that's why, in parallel, I begin to play as a DJ. Wow. The progression from classical to, to becoming a DJ, to discovering electronic music, to buying vinyl. When did you move over to CDs? Like when did you discover the world of the, the CDJs? The first uh, CDJ 100 for me was really nice because the sensibility was similar, even with a small role. And uh, yeah, when you play with CD, you can take the beats and touch like a vinyl. I was really interested uh, about uh, the CD players. And for me, the CDJ 100 was one of the best uh, discoveries in my life. It was really nice. And now, 2000? Now 2000 is like uh, the NASA. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, What do you yeah, think? Fantastic. What are some of your, your favorite features to, to use? I mean, you, you've been using them in different places. I know definitely it's bass. Yeah. But has it changed the, the way you play or? No, I every time use the CDs and when I can because it's uh, very new and the clubs are now uh, beginning to have the CD 2000, the mixer. Mm. This is amazing. And to have the, the four CDs linked in the, in the mixer and all the effects and all the things you can do, wow, it's a really nice weapon for a DJ to do a really nice work. Great. Well, what, have you, what, what happens after you beat there? You said tomorrow you go back to Madrid? We go to Barcelona and after Barcelona. tomorrow we go to Granada to the club Industrial Coopera, really nice club. Yeah. Very hot. The public is oh, every time. Oh. Who's Joe? Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and yeah, we and begin. <laughs> we try. We <laughs> try. World domination. <laughs> we begin to, to do the new um, tours and now I will release the new album in one very important label. I cannot say yet. Exclusive. Mm, no. No, no, I cannot do it. <laughs> you all do it's that. Anything it's anything signed. <laughs> anything, anything signed. No, but it's coming very, very okay. soon. And after that, we will do the tour with yep. the album. And yeah, okay. nice projects. And then back to Ibiza, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it was lovely to chat to you. Thanks for your time. Um, you know, we know you've had a, a great summer here and I mean, you're doing amazing things. So thank you. And get on the sand. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ciao. Christian. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.